Welcome to Danny's Maths Hub. Now, today is all about construction and low key, okay? Hence why we are at this construction site. So, over the next five videos, I'm going to show you how we can perfectly cut a line in half, perfectly cut an angle in half, construct three different types of triangle, and maybe if there's enough time, there may be a bonus six video where we look how we can draw a perpendicular line. So today we're going to look at how we can cut a straight line perfectly in half, or a better word to use, bisect, cut it perfectly in half. Now, if we look at this piece of wood, one of these builders here may well want to cut this perfectly in half. And yes, they could measure it and work out maybe it's 1.2 meters. They maybe get a little bit more accurate and measure it down to 121 centimeters. They can even get more accurate and measure it in millimeters. However, no matter how much small we go, there still will be maybe a little bit of rounding issues to get the exact size of this piece of wood. So how can we possibly cut it without measuring it? Well, this is when your wonderful device, a compass, can come into play. Now, I'm working quite big here and I haven't got a giant compass, but I have created my own using a brick and a piece of wood, if you believe it or not. Now, if you get your compasses out, please pause the video and get your compasses out, and I'll explain how this relates to your compass. So how is this the same as your compass? Well, this brick is going to be my pointy bit of the compass. When I put this down, this will hold it in place, just like your compass does with the pointy bit. When you stick down to the piece of paper, it will hold it into place. So this is going to be my point. This, pen this bit is going to be my pencil. It's nice and pointy, so I'll be able to see exactly what it does in the sand. So how could I possibly use my compass to bisect, meaning cut in perfectly in half, this piece of wood, this straight line? Now, if you're, if you're struggling to grasp how this is possibly a compass, if you look in the corner here, or maybe here, I can't, haven't quite decided which side I'm going to put it yet, you'll see exactly how I'm doing it with a real compass, okay? So how do we do it? The first thing you have to make sure is that your compass is over halfway. Okay, so this compass is actually the whole length of the piece of wood, which is perfectly fine, but I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter. I'm going to make my compass a little bit shorter, but making sure it's over halfway. If it's not over halfway, this method will not work. So what you need to be doing is getting your compass and pulling it apart, putting your pointy bit at the end of the line and stretching it to make sure it's over halfway. Now, once our compass is over halfway, we have to keep our compass the same length. Do not change the length of your compass now. And I can cut this piece of wood perfectly in half now just by doing that with my compass. The way we do it is, is we draw an arc. Okay, I'll put my pencil on the piece of paper. This is what you'll be doing. But for me, I'm using the sand. We simply draw an arc going through our line and all the way down. So you may not be able to see it, but if you look in the corner, you can see it. I've created myself an arc using the compass. Now what this arc tells me is that no matter where I am on this arc, I'm the same distance away from the end of my straight line. All of those bits are exactly the same distance away from the end of my straight line. Now keeping my compass the same length, I'm gonna to go to the other side of my straight line. Put my compass, the pointy bit at the end of my line, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing again. I'm gonna draw another arc going all the way around my line. And hopefully you can see, if not you can see in the video above, is that my two arcs have now crossed each other. They've crossed each other here, and they've crossed each other here. One above, one below. Now all points of both arcs are exactly the same distance away from either end. So this arc, same distance away from this end. This arc, same distance away from this end. So at these two points, is when these two points meet, when here is exactly the same distance away from both ends, and the same as the other end, which means this has to be perfectly central to our straight line. If I was to draw a line with a ruler and a pencil from that point to that point, going through my line, it means I'd have cut it perfectly in half. If I got a ruler and went like this with my pencil, I know that this point here is exactly half way. That is that piece of wood cut perfectly in half if I was to cut it right here. Thanks to those arcs. 
Now, if you're going to answer this question in an exam paper, leave those arcs on the piece of paper. Leave that line you drew on the piece of paper. This is telling the examiner exactly how you did your work. Now, it doesn't matter if the line was like it was, or even if the line was like this. So I'm going to rub out all my workings at this time. You never work out your, rub out your workings. If my line was like this, my method doesn't change. I'll still get my compass, put the point at one end of the line, and draw myself an arc. Again, I'm going to shorten my compass here. But once I've shortened it, it stays the same length. I draw myself an arc from one end. I keep my compass exactly the same length. Go to the other side. Draw my arc again. And then where these two arcs meet, here and here, if I now join them with a pencil, so take the pencil out of my compass and use a ruler, this point here is exactly the same point I found earlier, the half way mark. So that's how you bisect a line. You straighten your compass out until it's over halfway, draw one arc from one side, one arc from the other, find the two points where they meet, join them with a ruler, going through the line, and you've cut that line perfectly in half. I hope you found these demonstrations in the corner useful as well, seeing how I do it with a real compass, but I thought it'd be a bit fun to see it at a construction site using just bits and bobs that I could find lying around. Next video, I will show you how we bisect an angle using just a compass and a ruler. Enjoy.